Hello. Here's a little flash of fear, a 500-word story that I wrote a while back for the magazine Sanitarium. Uh, and it's part of a, a little program of flash readings that I uh, do uh, when I'm asked. And um, it uh, is not unlike some of the stories that are found in my collection, Scars and Candy, from Crossroad Press. Custom Scent Since her name is Sherry, when I decided to give her a custom perfume scent, it seemed natural to put the aroma of a wine at the heart of it. That would make it the perfect gift to bond us because I've always had a particular sensitivity to aromas. She likes fine wines with dinner at times, though not always sherry. No. Since wine wasn't a choice on the scent manufacturer's website, I started with grape as a base ingredient, a suitable substitute. Then I shopped for the complimentary scents in their drop-down menus. For some reason, lilacs have always come to mind when I catch just a whiff of her, something in her shampoo, I guess, or maybe it's just something about their unassuming beauty teased in warm summer breezes in much the way the wind teases her hair when she steps out of her office building to meet for lunch. The city doesn't offer the hint of apple blossom that a warm country breeze might carry, but I added that choice to the mix. Sometimes when she answers the phone, her accent slips a little. She tries to put her country heritage behind her, but when she forgets, a few vowels drag and she's a small town girl again. And for a second, you flash to walks on hot summer afternoons along gravel paths, barefoot and cutoffs, laughing. Why not a drop or two of strawberry and magnolia? The city doesn't offer up those aromas much amid its exhaust fumes and garbage bin amalgams of decay. They'll help make the scent distinct. I put the finished product on her desk, a small box gift wrapped in shiny foil paper and curled ribbons with the little ornate perfume bottle nestled inside. The card is simple, a unique scent crafted with love for you, Dave. I found a spot near her cubicle to watch her discover it when she returned from a meeting. She looked curious at first, then read the card and a glow crossed her features. She slit the tape at the package edge carefully, peeled back the foil, and then pulled the bottle out and tried a little on her wrist. Her eyes closed and she savored the redolent scent. Perhaps it took her back a moment to, to the hometown, to the old days when she first said she loved me. A perfume makes a much better gift than just a bouquet of flowers, more lasting. The scent will be around long after flowers would have wilted. After a few six seconds, my nostrils pick up the essence, even at my safe distance. I'll always be able to know when she's near. Perfect. It's good she doesn't see me now. At lunch, she'll express her thanks. If all goes well, Dave will accept the gratitude. She won't show the card she thinks he sent, of course. Meanwhile, he'll think he's stealing the appreciation from some coworker who's been too timid to express true feelings. He's like that. I can read his type. And he knows nothing of the past. Her flight to the city, her attempts to leave me behind. She'll keep wearing the scent proudly, thinking it's from Dave. While it lets me track her anyway.